So just like the Orcs, the Custodes are getting a new HQ, a new Codex, and a new Battle Force. But will the new Battle Force be less debated than the Orc one? Yeah. Yes, it will. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay, and in this video I want to talk about the Custodes announcements from the weekend. I already talked about the Orcs one. Um, both armies are getting a new HQ, a new Codex, and a new Battle Force. Awesome stuff there, right? I love it. Um, the Orc one is based on the Stompa, and all around the Stompa. And people are already debating whether or not it's the worst Battle Force ever, the best one ever. I think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's the best Battle Force ever. I really like the one that came out at Christmas time for the Orcs. But, do I see myself buying the Battle Force for the, with the Stompa? I actually do. So, let's get started on the Custodes, though, part of it. Just like the Orcs, they are getting a new Codex. Surprise, right? New Codex, cool. Custodes have been, uh, or Custodes, depending on how you pronounce them, I don't know. Uh, people always debate that. They've always been, they, they started this this edition near the top, and they've been slowly dropping. They sometimes rise, but they're slowly dropping. They kind of got over-nerfed. They're a very strong army, typically. They're maneuverable, elite. And they hit, like, a ton of bricks in close combat. And they can shoot, usually from a closer distance, but they're known for bikes, speed, maneuverability, hit, like, a survivable. And the crazy thing about Custodes, or such Custodes, is that they kind of broke a lot of armies when they were first coming out. You know, because Grey Knights were known as the elite army, and then they out-eliteed the Grey Knights. Blood Angels were known as the Hitting Hard army at one point. Custodes hit harder than every other Space Marine faction in close combat from a distance. White Scars were known as the maneuverable army of the Space Marines. Custodes can outdo that too with all their jet bikes of doom. So, basically... Whatever you can do, Custodes can do better. And that kind of happened at the beginning of this Codex, uh, sorry, of this edition. They've been slowly kind of nerfed downwards. But, again, new Codex, which is hopefully going to present some fun and awesome ways how to play this army, um, which is really cool. And, of course, they're getting a new Shield Captain, who I think looks really cool. I love the model, too. Not as much as the Orc one. The Orc has a lot more character, but this... Um, this model looks awesome. As you can see here, he looks very cool. He's got, he's a shield captain. So he has a giant shield and he's a captain, obviously, and he's holding a spear. It's a really cool. I'm going to go over the rules of the spear and the hard to pronounce name of the spear in a moment. we got some quick rules for him. So he's going to be obviously hard to kill. He's going to have a good invul save and a good armor save. And he has a not, is a nasty spear in close combat. Just like the orc one, again, there's going to be at least two head variants that you can see here. The, um, the main picture right now is, is the bear head, and then there's also a, um, a, a head with the helmet. But overall, great looking model. I think he's going to look awesome in most people's armies. And of course, he will be a part of the battle force. But as you can see, great detail on the model. Definitely fits the theme of the army. Great sculpting. I love him. I think it's a great HQ. Um, again, we'll see about the rules, but as far as looks wise, I think it looks pretty cool and he'd be fun to paint. For sure. What do you think? Leave comments in the comment section down below. And we also got the, uh, uh, just again, just a preview of the rules for this captain. Uh, he has a weapon called the Pyrithite, Pyrithite, Pyrithite Spear. So it has two modes of course, um, shooting and melee. And the shooting is, of course, nasty in close combat. So Melta 2, range 12 inches, of course. One attack, BS, two up to hit, strength nine, AP minus four, DD six. That's nasty, right? Plus a melt to two from six inches. That's that's nasty, right? Like that's that's pretty cool. He'll he'll hit something in close combat. He's gonna hit because it's twos to hit. Strength nine. Uh, so against vehicles, most of them will be five ups. Uh, against some nasty other things, maybe threes or four ups. Again, there's gonna be ways to mitigate that with some special rules from the army, of course. Um, but overall, solid melt a shot from from close range. And, of course, it also has the Pyrithite Spear Melee, which is seven attacks. Ouch. Twos to hit. Seven, or strength seven. So wounding most things, most things worth wounding are going to be on threes and fours. Uh, vehicles, fives, of course. 
AP minus 2, DD2. So he's going to kill a bunch of Space Marines and Orcs. He's more of an infantry killer than anything, um, because it'll be fives to wound against vehicles, or, you know, in most cases, even sixes to wound in some cases. Um, but he'll really rip through infantry with threes to wound. He'll be pretty cool. He'll be killing Orc boys, and, and uh, he'll be killing Space Marines like no one's business. But overall, just as he fits perfectly with the theme of, of the Custodes, you know, he's extremely good in close combat. He's good from a short distance for shooting. He's going to be extremely survivable as always. And so I think he perfectly fits with this uh, with this codex for sure, or this the theme of the army. And finally, as I just mentioned, of course, he's going to be a part of the, um, the battle force. And that's the only way to obtain him for the first three to six months. And then afterwards, he'll be released as a solo model for probably $40 US, $50 Canadian, probably $55 Canadian. We'll see how much Canadian. It's starting to get a little crazy for the Canadian side, but that's a different story. Um, and so here is the battle force that you can purchase for Custodes. Um, so with this battle force, of course, you're going to get the shield captain. Right? He'll be the, the leader of your army. You're also going to get um, five Custodian Wardens, which are very cool, uh, six Alaris Terminators, and uh, six Virtus Praetors, who basically, you know, fly around the battlefield on their jet bikes. So, for this battle force, I think it's good. For, um, I'm not the most Custodes knowledgeable player, but to me, what I've seen from the army... This is a great starter battle force, as well as a great supplement to your existing battle force. I know it's a little bike heavy. Um, some people these days are running less bikes, but the bikes are strong, and, and or they can be strong in certain combinations. I think the Codex is, of course, going to come up with ways to run the bikes in a pretty strong fashion. Uh, so, of course, six bikes, some Terminators, uh, you got the... Um, the Wardens, and you got the Captain, the Shield Captain. To me, it's a very balanced battle force. Once again, if you look at points, it's approximately 1,250 points for this battle force. Great. Savings-wise, you're going to save a couple hundred dollars Canadian, um, at least based on the, the configuration, assuming a, a certain price for the, the Captain, of course. So, great value, uh, great amount of points, so 1,250 points for a battle force is fantastic. It would make a great starter set if you want to create, just start a Custodes army, as well as a great supplement to existing armies, because you get your Captain, some bikes, some Terminators. It's a great core of what you'd be wanting to play as a Custodes player. Right? So I think it's an insanely good battle force. I think this one's going to be a little bit less, you know, contended and contentious than the, the Orc one, which is based around the Stompa. This one isn't based around a specific squad, right? It's a very balanced battle force with a bunch of different squads. They're all, you know, elite versus 800 points of the Orc one being the Stompa. So overall, I think Custodes players have some stuff to rejoice about. An awesome new captain an awesome new battle force, and a codex, which will hopefully bring some different ways and some competitive ways and some fun ways of playing Custodes in a variety of, of detachments, right? That's the way that they've been doing for the Necrons and the Tyranids and the Space Marines, and to a little bit lesser of an extent, the or to a lesser extent, the, the Admech. But I think it's very cool. What do you think? Leave comments in the comment section down below what you think about the Custodes announcements from the weekend. Do you love them? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. That's cool. But please like this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. It really helps a lot. And stay tuned for more review videos and painting videos and painting with Jays and all that stuff. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting. Your custodians.